Hello everyone, welcome to my new YouTube channel. I hope you'll be enjoying this video. And today I'm going to be showing you how to solve a Rubik's Cube. The method that I'll be using today is called the Daisy pattern. Because when we're finished with the first algorithm, it's going to look like a daisy with the yellow center and the four white edge pieces. So before I show you how to solve the Rubik's Cube, I first want to mention a few things. When we turn the Rubik's Cube like that, it's got a name. So whenever we turn the right face, the right face, it's called R. If we turn the upper face, it's called U. The down face, it's called D. And the left face, it's called L. And the back face is called B. So the way we name these is if you're moving the right face, if you're moving it clockwise, it's called R. If you move it anti-clockwise, it's called R prime. Same with L. L prime, L. U is there and U prime is there. D, D prime. B, B prime. Okay, so now what so now we're going to want to get all the white edge pieces next to the yellow center and by the way when we solve when we're busy solving the cube we you want the white center to be facing down the whole time okay so there's a white edge piece so to get it in there we need to move it sideways then put it in over here. It's very easy to put it in there. You just need to turn it once. And then there's a white piece at the bottom. Now, we can't just turn it to put it in because then it knocks that piece down. So what we need to do is we need to find the place that doesn't have a white edge, which is over there. So we need to turn it so that it matches up with the white edge piece. Now we can put it in. And there we have our daisy. So when we have our daisy, don't mind. You mustn't be worried if there's a extra white edge piece. That Just ignore that. So now what you want to do is, so for example, this edge piece, the color opposite of that is blue. And we want to match the blue to the blue center, which is over here. So we just need to turn it once and it's matched. Now, when we've, we've got that, we just need to turn it twice. So that faces the white um, center. Over here, the, over here is purple or on a normal Rubik's cube, it would be <laughs> red, but with this one, it's purple. So. It's already matched up to the purple center, so we just need to turn it twice. Same here is also, same here is green, already matched up to the green center. Turn it twice, and also here with orange, it's already matched up with the orange center. Turn it twice. Okay, now what we want to do here is we want to look for all the white um, corner pieces. So what we want to do is we need to find a white corner piece which is here and the color opposite that is blue so we want to match that up with the blue center which is over here and now we want to turn the white corner piece away from us and then we must perform the left trigger so the left trigger is when we insert the white corner piece into into the corner so the left trigger looks like this. So it's L prime, U prime, L. Okay, you've got that. Now, there's another white corner piece. Match that up to the orange center and perform the left trigger again. Now, we've got this. The opposite is purple. I want to turn it to the to match the purple center. Now it's on the right hand side. So now we now we've got to perform 
the right trigger. So it goes like this. R, U, R prime. Okay. And now, if you see that there's a corner piece on top of the face, you want to turn it so that matches a corner that doesn't have a white spot in it. So over there, and then it's... So now, if it's on the left-hand side, we must perform the left trigger. But instead of doing it once, we do it twice. So, left trigger, once, twice. And now it's on the top layer. So now, match up to the purple and perform the left trigger. Now, sometimes, uh, there's a white edge piece, I mean, corner piece, sorry, that can also be on the bottom layer. So let me quickly show you. So like this, it can be on the bottom layer. So what you want to do, you want to face. So if the white corner piece is over here, you want it to face away from you. And you must, if it's on the right hand side, you must perform the right trigger. And if it's on the left hand, left hand side, you must perform the left trigger. In this case, it's on the right hand side. So you want to perform the right trigger. Okay, now it's on the back on top of the top layer. Now it's purple we want to turn it to purple center now we must do the right trigger okay now we've got the white center finished and we've also got the bottom layer finished okay now the next step you want to do it's called the upside down t because it will look like an upside down t so when you've got the upside down t the top color Whichever color it's opposite of, which is blue, and blue's on that side, we want to turn it opposite of blue. And if it's on the right hand side, we want to turn it left. So what you want to do is, so if it's on the left hand side, you want to do the following algorithm. U, L prime, U prime, L, you and then you want to turn the white corner away from you and then perform the right trigger and now we've got this edge piece in okay now there's a purple let's match it up to the purple there's the upside down t don't worry if there's any other colors that's on the other side as long as as long as you have the upside down t Okay, so the color opposite of that is green. Green's on that side. So you want to turn away, which is over there. So now you want to do U, R, U, R prime, U prime. Now there's the white corner. You want to turn away from U. And now perform the left trigger. And I've got that edge piece in. Okay. There we've got the upside down T, orange, and the color opposite of that is blue. So you want to turn away from blue, U, R, U, R prime, U prime. Turn the white corner piece away from you and perform the left trigger. Okay, and I've got that corner piece in. Okay, here's the green upside down T, opposite of that is orange. Want to turn it away from you, so you are you are prime, you prime. You want to turn the white away from you and perform the left trigger. Okay, now I've got the second layer solved. Now, what you want to do is if there's a if there's a line going, so if there's a straight line for the yellow, you want to turn it so that's facing upwards. Don't worry if there's a excess piece. You must just it must just be facing upwards the whole time. Okay? And then you want to perform the following algorithm. So you want to do F U R U prime R prime F prime. And now there should be a hook. So pretend that this is a hook. Okay? must be facing the top left corner and now do that algorithm again f u r u prime r prime f prime okay now you should have a cross okay 
So, if there's a cross, you want to perform the following algorithm, but sometimes you can skip an algorithm and then there's what you call a fish. So, pretend that this is a fish, okay? It must be, for, it must be pointing at the bottom left corner, okay? So, in this case, we've just got the fish, so we're going to do that. Now, we want to perform the following algorithm. Okay, so bottom left corner, and you must do R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. And now the top face should be solved, but sometimes you'll, you'll have to do the fish again. So once you've done it, the fish might be pointing up there, and then you'll just have to do it again. Okay, now... Onto the second last step. So what you want to do here, you must try find. So on a face, there should be a color that has two of the same color corner pieces. So over here, same color corner piece. Now sometimes you might not find one, so then you'll just have to do this algorithm again. And sometimes it can be. Um, covering the whole top layer, so then the whole face would be covered. But if there's two corners of the same color or the whole face is solved, you want to turn that left of you and then perform the following algorithm. Out prime, U, R, U prime, L, U, U2, R, R prime, u or u2 or prime okay now we're on to the last step as i've made oh, fantastic okay so now there should be three faces that's missing one color sometimes there's even four if there's four you'll just have to do it again okay so the, you must turn to the center face that doesn't have the the um edge piece and you must perform the following algorithm you may have to do this twice so f2 u r prime l f2 r l prime u f2 now as you can see the cube isn't solved yet so you'll have to do that one more time so f2 u r prime l f2 r l prime u f2 and the cube should be solved now if you now if you guys were able to do it congratulations on solving the rubik's cube and i hope you guys learned a lot from this video okay bye